In this video, we are going to show you how to view secure PDF files using the Web Viewer. Safeguard Web Viewer is a no installation browser based viewer. It enables protected PDF files to be viewed in a browser from any device using any operating system and is ideal for environments where no viewer software can be installed. Safeguard Web Viewer solves the issue of firewall access, granting administrator privileges, and the use of roaming profiles. It does not rely on insecure plugins, self extracting executables, or Flash. Safeguard Web Viewer provides an adequate level of security without the installation overheads. It is not as secure as the installed or USB viewer, and users must be online to view protected PDF files. Before users can open DRM protected PDF files in the web viewer, permission must be granted from within the Safeguard administration system. See the following videos on our YouTube channel. How to assign web viewer access to a user and how to protect files to the web viewer. These cover how to grant access to users so they can view your DRM protected files and how to upload files for viewing. When a user has been granted access to the web viewer, they will receive an email from the publisher. So first open your mail client, and there's the email from the publisher. Publisher's name at the top, and here's the user logon details. It tells the URL to go to, the username to use, and the password. I'm going to just take a copy of that password careful not to take any spaces with it okay minimize that for now and then click on the url link up comes the lock lizard web viewer the username already got that in here so we'll put the username in and then we'll put the password and then just click log on and up comes the document viewing window okay and these are the documents that the user is authorized to view First of all, let's have a look at each item that's available on this page. You've got the document listing here, and under each document, you've got the document ID, the status, valid in this case, is it printable? No. Expires never, and the size of the document. And that comes under each of the documents. There may be more information showing, depending what restrictions have been applied to the document. In the main window itself, You've got the user's name, in this case, Tony Walsh. Under the name, you have a logout button. That's important to know. And likewise, there's a second logout button on the top right corner. OK, next to help menu, where you have access to the manual, the Lock Lizard knowledge base, and a way of contacting support should you need to do so. OK, three little lines next to the Lock Lizard logo. will expand and reduce the sidebar. Gives you a bigger viewing area that's all and here is a listing of your documents you can sort through the documents name id size and date you can set the number of documents to view in the viewing area and you can do a search for a particular document if there are lots of documents in your area cancel that to view the document itself all you have to do is click on the document web viewer then loads it into the viewing window there we go you can scroll down, view the document, in this case, three pages. So let's just check out the controls available in this area. OK. You have a sidebar here. If you have lots of pages, you can actually click on the page and go straight to it. OK. That can be closed or opened as you wish. Again, a text search feature. So if you're looking for particular text in the document, you can use that. Escape key takes that off. You can page down through the document or back up through the document using the arrows. And you've got here showing one of three. You can actually, if you've got like 50 odd pages, you could type in the number of the page you want to go to and go directly to it. In the middle, you have zoom feature, zoom in, zoom out, and also percentage of zoom. So you can go straight to a percentage if you wish. On the right, you have the home key, which will take you back to your listing of documents we've just come from. Switch to full screen mode. And as it says, press escape to come out of that mode. That will take you back. Double chevron on the right gives you the option go to last page. Rotating either clockwise or counterclockwise gives you the hand tool 
for moving the document around by hand and document properties okay let's give you a little bit of information about the document okay once you've finished viewing documents or if you want to view the next document or some more documents go back to the home screen where your listings are and you can click on the next document if you wish and the next document loads to view so we go back to the home screen when you finish with the viewer important that you log out if you just close the browser the session will remain locked for 30 minutes before you can log back in again so you can log out by using either log out buttons and that will take you back to the web face okay that's all there is to it when you finish with the web viewer close the browser in this case close your email client